guys! Today's video is all about what to pack and how to pack your clutch for these holiday parties that you may or may not be attending. Probably not me because let's be real, I just do nothing but make YouTube videos all day. Totally kidding, I do eat. But I thought this would be a great video, especially with all the holiday parties and stuff that will be coming up this season because obviously it is the holidays, New Year's is approaching, along with Christmas and all those other fun things. I have two clutches that I use pretty regularly and they're small, like there's no getting around that. Some may be bigger than others, but I have two favorite ones and I wanted to show you guys those and kind of just give you tips and tricks on how I downsize to go from like, you know, my big my big old bag to a more appropriately conservative clutch. So I have two crossbodies that or not crossbodies, well they are crossbodies, but two clutches that I wanted to talk about. The first one is the more appropriately priced one, and this one is from Personalized For Me to You. And it's just like this hard kind of like cardboard like feeling, but obviously it's like faux leather um, clutch and it's like this taupey color which I really like and that has my white monogram on it. Yes, I monogram everything. Get it into your head. Inside of it, it has like a chain that you can either use as a wristlet, right there, or also a crossbody. So I love things I can convert into crossbodies because I'm all about that. And then I have this one which is the Tory Burch like Riva type clutch. I don't really know what it's called, but it has like two double end things. You can just take it off the crossbody, so that's pretty cool too. So those are my two favorite clutches. Completely different price points. This one's more expensive, but this was a gift. And then the other one is like, or probably around like fifty dollars is my guess. So now moving on to how to pack and what's inside of my kind of clutch. Now the first thing we're going to talk about are the wallet key thing that I have a struggle with. So this is the thing that I carry with me everywhere I go. It's like my little wallet um, from the little Pulitzer with my keys. Yes, I have two key fobs. Do not judge. So basically take off whatever key you need that is absolutely necessary for you to bring. And then take your ID and possibly your credit card. And I got this little handy dandy like thing just because I don't like my money just like floating around in my clutch or like my ID because I'm afraid it's just going to fall out. So I got this from J. Crew. They have it in a bunch of different colors and it's just like a little folding kind of thing. And you know, just put your ID in it and wally dolly doll pretty cool and you can put your money in it over here and that just saves so much space so that's going into the wall or into my purse then I have the makeup and whenever I go out I only bring usually like two things I bring concealer because there are blemishes on this face and I have this little to-go pot it's of a race paste from benefit that I got from like the little checkout session sec section at Ulta and it's really small and I like that about that so I usually just stick that into my clutch. I always make sure I have my lip liner with me because I find that's really essential especially after I eat and whatever thing you put on last I feel like is really important because usually I either do lipstick and lip liner or I do lip liner and lip gloss like a pigmented lip gloss so I just have these two things and I'm only going to put the things I need into this clutch, which is really hard for us, you know, girls, because we have to have like 50,000 um, things. And you can put a chapstick in there, but right now I don't need a chapstick, so I wouldn't bring that with me. So that's all of my cosmetics in there, so rock on. I know a lot of videos are always like, make sure you have a little sample size of a perfume, but only bring that if you are going to a place that will have like a heavy scent. So if you're going to like a Mexican food restaurant, I recommend bringing a perfume like travel thing. You can bring like a, the Traveler thing if you want. But the um, thing that I would say is that uh, supply it beforehand and just, you know, be cautious about your whereabouts. You don't have to bring this. So I'm actually not going to pack this into my iPhones can get pretty bulky. Anybody else have this problem? Because I do. And so if I have a really small clutch, which this one is already starting to fill up quite a lot, I would just take off my case this case is actually from personalized for me to you too which is kind of funny because I was just talking about okay so this is my naked phone that's really weird and I do not like my phone to go unprotected <laughs> that's funny I'm an immature so I just put my like little Lily Plitzer case on which is so much skinnier than this bulky dude so save space 
it will do for the night. You know, some people obviously need to bring their camera, but if you are just like not planning on taking a lot of pictures, just use your phone. If not, bring your camera, but my camera is pretty big. It's not really that skinny, but I don't know. just depends on the occasion that I'm going to, if I'm going to bring this camera. This is a Canon PowerShot ELF 115IF, if that means anything to you. This is going to take up a lot of space, a hair tie. And then the last thing I have, actually second to last thing I have, is either two mints, because you and your date, or a, like a little package of gum, because you don't know if you're going to be eating, and well if you're going to be eating, you're going to definitely want some mints and stuff, so you're going to get kissing some boys. Don't worry guys, I'm not doing that. And here's the last thing. I think this could be a little bit embarrassing to carry in your clutch. Just put it in a little pocket so no one sees it. But even if it's not that time of month for you, some girl is probably going to be coming up to you and being like, Hey, oh my god, do you have a tampon? And you're like, yeah. But nobody wants to be in that like situation. So just always be safe. So have a tampon. Those are wise words of Sarah Bell from 93X. But that is my clutch essential, ooh, clutch essentials, oh my goodness gracious. So that concludes my what's in my clutch slash what I carry in my clutch slash tips and tricks for the holiday season. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed it and sorry if I'm blinding you with this big logo. <laughs> um, until next time, I will talk to you guys later and have a happy holiday season in Merry Christmas. <laughs>